Hey guys, welcome to this recap of New Zealand's biggest gap year where Robin and I, a couple of years ago, did 365 days of 365 activities in New Zealand. And on day 17, we headed to the Waikato Museum. But stick around to the end of this video where we've got a few more comments to talk about this awesome museum. To get there, we decided to walk along the Waikato River. And along the way, we actually stumbled upon a pumpkin, because that makes sense. This pumpkin was just sitting on a bench, having a little look at the river, and just minding its own business. After being an idiot with a pumpkin, we walk into the forest, and it turns into like boardwalks and steps. In order to get to the Waikato Museum, we decide to take the scenic route, which is along the riverside. It's the Waikato River Sidewalk. And we keep on strolling along the Waikato River and head back toward the city to get inside the Waikato Museum, which is dedicated to the whole Waikato. So if you don't know what is Waikato, it's the old region that Hamilton is the capital city. Outside the Waikato Museum is where the art starts. There's a piece of art called the Tongue of the Dog. And that's because the water, the water from the waterfall is is coming out so flat it's, and so long, it's like a dog's tongue. That's, that's my interpretation of it anyway, I guess. See, I take the time to like appreciate art. We're starting with the big waka because that's the one thing I want to see the most, right? This big, big canoe. So waka is basically a war canoe, which used to sit 20 to 30 Maui warriors. It's incredible to just picture 20 or 30 of those dudes sitting in this canoe and just making their way around. It's such like, you know, it's super fast and go wah wah and jump from the canoe or anything. I mean, I have the whole story going in my head while I walk around the canoe, it's amazing. There's like many of these you can actually see all around New Zealand, but this one's I think it's particularly nice because they've like decorated it with like feathers and it looks really fancy. Can't imagine it actually being out on the water. I think it's only for decorative purposes, but it's a pretty cool canoe. I end up, I'm taking pictures at this thing for way too long. I think we spend probably the most time in that exhibition. The next sort of couple exhibitions are some contemporary Maori art, which is like neon colours. It's kind of like a rave in there. It's like Maori meets rave, and this is what you get. And they're really colourful and really pretty, and I like them. Then we're moving on to a modern art gallery with white painted moth stuck all over the corner of the wall. Um, you can interpret that however you want, that's, that's, um, yeah. We're doing another stroll through the city to try to find back the hostel. And there's one street that we find that's way different from the rest of Hamilton. It's called Casabella Lane. And it's sort of like the most European looking street in New Zealand. There's like a mix of Greece, a mix of Italy, Spain, France, other countries. I don't know, it's a big mashup. And it's just a really small lane with like plants everywhere. It looks dead fancy. Nicest street in Hamilton, I would say. We had a look around Hamilton and now we are going back to the Backpackers Central Hamilton. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty quiet evening and uh, Laura is, back, is making pies today. Question. Oh, yeah. 
Who did George Bush defeat in the 2000 US presidential election? Al Gore. Correct. We are joined by a couple of the staff from the Backpacker Central to have a nice little meal and a nice little chat. Hopefully it stops raining tomorrow so we can go see Bridal Veil Falls, not under the rain. Alright guys, I hope that gave you a good insight to what it's like to visit a regional museum in New Zealand. Um, and although we didn't get many questions about this video, I mean a museum is pretty sort of, you know, standard, there's not really much you know, crazy questions to ask about museum. It's worth noting that these sort of museums are pretty much in every region around New Zealand, mostly found in like the main towns or cities of each region. And they're definitely worth checking out, especially like today or like in this video when it was a rainy day. Um, and yeah, most of these museums are free or really cheap to go and visit. So they're definitely worth exploring. And one of like our favorite things about these museums is that it's one of the ways to sort of learn a little bit more about the Maori culture and um, sometimes it's a little hard to find sort of activities to do with the Maori culture all around New Zealand so if you haven't got the chance to go to places like Rotorua for instance or Auckland where there's more sort of Maori cultural experiences to be had then going to one of these museums is is another way to sort of learn a little bit more about that um, so yeah, there's not really much to say about the museums other than that, um, just that they're free to go to. They only usually take you about half an hour to an hour to explore, so definitely worth doing while you're traveling in New Zealand. And yeah, we'll join, um, just if you have any questions of your own, feel free to put them in the comments below and we answer all the questions that we receive. Um, also, you can come to our live Q&A session that we have on YouTube on Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time where you can ask your questions directly to us in the live chat. Um, also check out nzpocketguide.com. It's uh, an online travel guide that's free for you guys to use and has thousands and thousands of articles about traveling in New Zealand. All right, until the next video, see you later.